Hey friends, this is video 3, um, this will be released tomorrow, I'm going to try to not go over um, 15 minutes, um, I'm going to be watching the clock, um, today's passage will be John um, chapter 1 verses, fi verses 15 through 22, uh, I'll be using the Good News Bible today, it's uh, probably not very many that people use, it is a translation, it's not a paraphrase, if you have one you can look at the introduction in the beginning of that Bible and it'll tell you it's a translation. It looks like a paraphrase, but I think the newer ones will say it's a translation, it's not a paraphrase. So, um, I don't have any other companion passages. Um, um, you can look at many of the Psalms that talks about uh, the Lord's creation. Uh, where we'll be getting out of that creation phase um, as we go into the core of the Word. So, um, uh, you know, the Jewish authorities is basically going to come up on the scene and they're going to ask a lot of questions uh, so let you know wisdom from God from God Almighty that he will help you understand and help me to explain it to you all right um, I'm going to try not to rush it so so here we go beginning with verse 15 John spoke about him he cried out this is one I was talking about when I said he comes after me but he is greater than I am because he existed before I was born out of the fullness of his grace he has blessed us all giving us one blessing after another God gave the law through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son who is the same as God and is at the Father's side. He has made him known. The Jewish authorities in Jerusalem sent some priests and Levites to John to ask him, Who are you? John didn't refuse to answer, but spoke out openly and clearly, saying, I am not the Messiah. Who are you then? they asked. Are you Elijah? No, I am not, John answered. Are you the prophet? they asked. No, he replied. Then tell us who you are, they said. We have to take an answer back to those who sent us what do you say about yourself okay let's go back to verse 15 um, this is the end of the introduction um, um, John is saying this is the one I was um, talking about he comes after me, but he is greater than I am because he existed before I was born. Meaning, Jesus already existed before John the Baptist was born because he is God. He's not a created being, folks. Um, this is a warped theology of the devil himself. Those that think that Jesus is a created being. He is not a created being. Repeat, he is not a created being. Um, because a created being cannot die for the sins of the world only God can remember that verse 16 out of the fullness of his grace he has blessed us all giving us one blessing after another it's God's desire to bless us continually you know if we pray to God on a daily basis um, ask forgiveness of our sins, pray for others, pray for Israel, pray for the Jewish people. They need it more than ever. Since 1948, the Jewish people has been attacked again and again and again. And, you know, the Palestinians want to create their own state. They don't recognize Israel. They see it as their own land. And they want, basically, to wipe Israel off the base of the map. 
And guess what, folks? It's not going to happen. So, verse 17. God gave the law through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. You know, He, he is the resurrection and the life. Um, you, we will see this as we go through the study. That Jesus says, I am, I am, I am, I am. He, he wants you to know that he is control he was in control on earth um, during his ministry and leading up to his crucifixion because the the his heavenly father our heavenly father and jesus himself was trying to um work out the plan of salvation so we could be saved through jesus christ <clears throat> um Verse 18, no one has ever seen God, the only Son who is the same as God and is at the Father's side, He has made Him known. I haven't seen God, no one else on this earth currently living in this day and age has ever seen God physically. Um, and here again, it, the writer is, is plainly pointing out, Jesus is God. Um, you know, they're, they're saying, oh, Jesus is not literally the Son of God. Um, he's a created being, and he's an, you know, an angel. Repeat, an angel cannot die for the sins of the world. Only God himself can. Jesus is the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. Wake up, people. Stop thinking that, he, that Jesus is a created being. He's not. He created the earth and the universe with this, with this Heavenly Father and with the help of the Holy Spirit. Remember this. Jesus created the world and the universe. Verse 19, the Jews authorities in Jerusalem sent some priests and Levites to, to ask John, who are you? And basically, John didn't refuse to answer. He, and John simply said, I am not the Messiah. They asked, who are you then? Are you Elijah? No, I am not, John answered. Are you the prophet? And they asked. No, he replied. I think when, when they asked, are you the prophet, are you Jeremiah the prophet? You know, or maybe one of the prophets. I really think they're really implying, are you Jeremiah the prophet? Then they asked, then tell us who you are. They said, we have, we have to take an answer back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? See, part of the reason why they're asking John the Baptist all these questions is probably because John was attracting more of a crowd than the, than the Pharisees and the Sadducees in Jerusalem was at that time. Um, because people that day and age had a hunger for God's word and hearing God's word being preached, and um, and so um, this is, was very important to the Jewish people that um, that they um, hear God's word and believe me, the Spirit of God will move people to hear God's word being preached. You know, John the Baptist was an ordinary person. Um, he wore camel's uh, camel's hair and um, ate wild honey and locusts. Um, the locust thing doesn't even sound appetizing to me. Um, you know, so you know he's the one that paved the way for Jesus to come on the scene, and we will see Jesus come on the scene in another study or two uh, so Jesus is who he says he is John bas basically testifies the same thing he's John the Baptist is to bear witness about the light 
um, but John the Baptist isn't the light. Jesus, Jesus is. So remember this. We're probably going to be here. Jesus is the light for many passages to come. Um, if you have comments or su suggestions, you can send them to me. Um, the previous Bible study, that's Bible study number two, um, the original Bible study, I will try to be putting it on my website. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I can guarantee you it will be up um, for archival purposes. Um, so send me your comments and suggestions, and remember, God loves you. He, he loves you very much. If you don't know him as your Savior, yeah, ask him into your heart. If you truly believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, just confess your sins and ask Jesus to come into your life, and he will bless you thoroughly. If you have questions, comments, prayer requests, send them to me, and I will uh, answer them as soon as I can. God bless.